away for night out, but I'm going to tell you guys a little something. Our issue is not the same issue that that girl was Tony. We have nothing to do with that. Our issue is he blocked us over nonsense. I called him and he thought we were all talking all this drama. I tell you, I don't want you on there for drama. I, I'm royalty. Me and Night Out. You don't understand. When it comes to drama, we fucking love it. We fiend it. It's like a fucking needle in our fucking veins. On that live that I went. Because Magic Girl is a big mouth. And she, after I, de I deleted that one. I said, hey, Night Out, you need to talk to Homeboy off camera. And I deleted it because I didn't want no negativity feelings. In the morning, I went to call Tony. And he blocked all of us. I told him, call me, homie. You know, blah, 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 blah. And blah 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 blah. blah, 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 blah uh, next blah, thing blah, you know, blah 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 blah, 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 blah. And you had no money. Blah, 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 blah. But then I said, wait, Let's we'll talk get you a money. Little bit about and he got fifty the grand me that people have been asking for. So I'm gonna address it now, and I'm not gonna address it again. So I'm just letting you know now, okay? One time. So if you watch this video, maybe you're gonna have to go rewind it and watch it again. So uh, up on the screen should be the GoFundMe page and it shows the budget the budget that we asked you guys for was for the 15,000 that was the budget for the GoFundMe and we actually hit a little bit over 18 thanks to you guys so we want to thank you guys applaud you guys for blessing us with that there was two idiots going around uh mouthing off bumping gums and the reason why I say bumping gums because one of them doesn't have teeth but saying that we collected fifty thousand dollars I don't know where in the hell they got that number from but if you go on my IG, on my bio, you can actually click on it and it'll take you to the GoFundMe. But meanwhile, you ain't gotta listen to these two idiots that are talking crap, okay? Um, I will address everything else at the end. So, um, you just don't have to wait, okay? So if you want to call somebody, text somebody, slap some. well, one of them's already been slapped. But anyways, check this out. Uh, without further ado, please allow me to introduce my very special guest. He was calling me a night out gay. I even hit him up. Hey, homie, slow your roll. I, I hit him. I'll show you my tech. I said, slow your roll. And all of a sudden, he started doing like 50 times during his documentary. So that's why we went live. That's why we went live. And that girl hit us up, and there's another reason we'll tell you about that girl in a minute. But that the girl's issue is not our issue. Our issue is they homie. me. My phone's dying. You can't rob our people, take money for a documentary about our life, and not have us in that motherfucker. Just like, hey, homie, go do your thing. We'll do our thing. But you know what? Do what's right. Be real is getting donations. Then he goes, oh, you know what works? He says, this is how cocky he's been getting about our people. He said, you know how, how it works? I tell him like this. What did he say? He said, uh, if you don't donate, you're not Chicano. You're not Mexican. The fuck, homie? What do you mean you're getting paid for the, the, the thing already? You guys saying that, that he built me? You guys gave money to him? A guy never been part of the game? John has never heard a Tony A. Till. Yes, most of you never heard Tony A. Till. I went on there. I blew that motherfucker off the roof because I know how to turn... To a maniac, be cool and be calm. Be like, yes, can I help you? You guys remember, I said it was universal. EMI made these fucking Jews listen to Chicano rap. I made them put us on. That was a, and I, and, and, and I say everything, Jews, blacks, whites, Mexicans, you know, I like real everything, you know, and then, but the Jews didn't own blah, 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 record blah. labels no more. They, they were out of the business. They were in the movie business. But blah, blah, so blah, back blah. to Kool-Aid. So we're talking about the Jew lady. Mm -hmm. How she fucked it, she actually fucked over a brother at uh, Familia Records, Murray Brunfield. Yep. Murray, me and him had our differences. We, 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 we blah, blah, worked blah, blah, together, blah. and and he, he was he was a savage. He's very quiet, yeah, humble savage. Blah, okay, blah, blah, blah. here's five hundred bucks for your master. Bye. You know, and and, and people would take that money. Blah, I'm like blah, hell blah. no, homie. But anyways, he came with the brilliance of the of. Potos Pero Locos, blah, the blah, radio blah, show. Blah. And he called Power 106, and he said, how much for an hour on a Sunday night? It was like 500 bucks, like I said. Mm -hmm. 
And he went, and Kool Aid was the one he talked to. Blah, 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 blah. I could be your host. Blah, 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 blah. And he said, okay. So he paid her, paid the thing, got his show going. Blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, she takes it. He no longer has no Damn. connection to the show. Next thing you know, Violet Brown blah, 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 blah. starts calling us at Universal. Um, and I, like I remember I was telling you back there, I used to pay for the in caps, you know, all the stuff when you play behind the, blah, 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 when you blah, walk blah. in the store, behind the store, in the front, when you walk in, they have your posters on the wall, warehouse records, mm -hmm. all that shit blah, we used blah, to pay blah, blah, for. Blah. Mm -hmm. So we were in, there was no difference between black rap, white rap, or Chicago rap. We were in, what if, blah, if blah, blah, blah. MCA, M, you, you were in the M's, it'd be, what, it would be in the M section, you know? Mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. Whatever it was, Mexican power, MCA, it was in a section. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, Kool-Aid started having her boyfriend produce and he started making her label. Then, well, before that, she goes, we'll make a Puntos Pere Locos section in the warehouse record, her and Violet Brown. Oh yeah, we'll put the Mexicans in their own section, which separated us from you guys, from everybody. And she said, oh, it's $3,000. Well, bitch, why did I pay you fucking for the last five years to be in all these regular positions mm -hmm. to actually put Chicano rap in in the record store like normal. Mm -hmm. Now you're just alienating me, putting me in a fucking corner and you want me to pay for your section. Then she promised, well, guess what? We'll play your song. If you pay whatever new artist you pay 3,000, you also will get your song played on Power 106 on Puntos Pelo Locos. Okay. Well, no, that's well, kind of some pay to play shit. Well, that, yeah. Well, the deal was them and their. Yeah, well, deal was them. But, but now you're talking about some shit that's been happening since the beginning yeah, of the time. Yeah. So, what well, the fuck? Well, that, but let me tell you what's worse. Then she creates her label two months later. So, guess what? There's only one hour. Guess who's not getting paid? Played. Us. And we're still. Shit. And Violet Brown says, you still have to be in that section. No, I don't want to be in that section. So she cornered the whole fucking market and had her own label playing all the time. Hated us because we were the biggest. And when she used to call me a little Rob before, because we hated Murray. And to that Murray, because Murray made a fake little Rob record. Yeah, Murray made a fake little Rob record. Mm -hmm. And that's why we dissed him. He made a fake record where he called it Still Smoking. He made a cartoon of Little Rob. Mm -hmm. And none of the guys on the record were Little Rob. But inside the record, he made. Spanish Fly new album coming out, his artist. Mm -hmm. Well, S.A. Rich Rock, I don't know if you heard of S.A. Rich Rock. Uh -huh. He did the 18 with the bullet. He was a legend of Chicano okay, rap. He was, yeah, he was a big Okay, yeah. but, but he, there was a rumor was that he died. So the Spanish Fly wasn't the Spanish Fly of S.A. Rich Rock. It was still his homies, to a part of it. So I had a little homie that was like a fan. He used to look like I said, Rich Rock. We'd go to parties and be like, hey, girls, that's I say Rich Rock. You know, just, <laughs> mm -hmm. and so I came with a brilliant idea. I saw when Murray did this shit. I'm, I'm off that deal, but when I saw Murray did this shit, I said, you know what? I said, I, next to my swap meet, the, in the swap meet was a coffin shop. They sold coffins. So I took Chris and I said, you're going to be OG Spanish Fly. Not Spanish Fly, changed the name, oh, geez, back, back from the dead. Because they said, Rich Rock, the rumors, he died. Mm -hmm. So I put him in a coffin, threw the west side up, took a picture with my Polaroid, <laughs> back then, mm -hmm. and we made, and I, and I had 10 songs for my new album. I said, look, homie, oh, we wrote him 10 songs, boom, and I put my Swap Me dudes on that record, and we made OG Spanish Fly back from the dead to go against Murray for trying to rip us off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I knew Murray. when Violet Brown would call us, oh, Murray sponsoring our show. He, he was it was his show. Fuck that. We never fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we weren't fucking with her because she was working with Murray. So she hated us. And they hate us. So when she started her own label, she never played our shit ever. But when me and Little Rob broke up, she played Little Rob. My baby boy, Little Rob. She'd be with a little fake voice up there. And um, that's how that, that's all. All that, she cornered the market, fucked the market, and strained it to it just became a little Chicano rap. Which I don't want to know, uh, what's your favorite black East Coast rapper? Homie, you making money off Chicano rap. Why don't you ask what's your favorite Chicano rapper? When's the first time you heard Chicano rap? Not, you know, uh, you really like Chicano rap?
I mean, he had the nerve to ask me, you, did you really make money? The fuck, homie? We got over 7 million records sold. I'm a Grammy-nominated fucking producer. Ask me, if you don't like my music, ask me, how was it recording Little Rob? How was it recording Aqua? How was it recording Mr. Shadow, Night Out? Ask me those things. But to not ask me what my favorite fucking movie is? You could ask that at the end, not the first big questions. Or don't ask Yo. Mr. Al. I forgot Yo, I've been... Before. Hold on, let me plug this in. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I, um... Look, Hums, I've been hearing you. I've been hearing you say a lot of stuff, dog. Like you're you're talking, you're talking, but 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 like a lot. Of, you know, I agree with a lot of it, homie. But you know, like I, I'm I'm gonna say some shit too, dog. You know what I mean? Take the floor. And and um, bottom line is this: Look, dog. I'll I'll, I'll get to uh, different issues, but you know, as far as uh. With uh, Tony A, I've known Tony A since the 90s, bro. That was my homie, dog. All right? That was my boy, and I never thought that he would turn out to be a fucking snake. And I even told him, you know what, homie? He had people calling him, threatening him, that they were going to go kill him and fuck him up and do all kinds of stuff. And he was all scared. Hit me up a few times. Hey, man, people are talking about they're going to come to my house. Well, this isn't recent. Those are things that happened in the beginning. Of no, the just world. just listen, Holmes. Okay, go ahead. You know, and, and he was saying stuff like, uh, they want to come over here and uh, because I won't give them an interview because I won't do shit like that. Okay, my friendship was with him. You know what, bro? Fuck them. You need me to fucking ride for you, dog? I'll put a cap in the motherfucker. I don't, I don't give a shit, Holmes. You know what I mean? And I had his back regardless, okay? Always had his back. But when things changed, bro, when I started seeing how greedy he was and that all the money he took from every single fan, he didn't do nothing but fucking pocket the money. Now, if the fans want to be a bunch of stupid motherfuckers like a lot of them are, now, if the fans want to be a bunch of stupid motherfuckers like a lot of them are. Now, if the fans want to be a bunch of stupid motherfuckers like a lot of them are. Like a lot of them are. Now, if the fans want to be a bunch of stupid motherfuckers like a lot of them are. That's their fucking problem. Of you dumb fucking fans, you dumb fucking fans, you dumb fucking fans, you dumb fucking fans. Ask yourselves right now, do you know Tony A from before or did you just recently hear about him? Thank you very much. The answer is there. You just recently heard about him now. Why did you hear about him? Because he created a podcast. And how did the podcast get known? Because we were on it. Why didn't you guys? Because we were, we were, let me, we were like, cool, he's going to do something for us. He's going to be part of this. We made him part of it. And we didn't know he was going to burn us. He ended up blocking us. So go ahead, Nido. All right. So, yeah. So what ended up happening is he basically just dicked everybody out of their money. Now, I, I don't understand how the fans can be like, oh, he's so great. Think about it. What has he done for Chicano rap? Who did he produce? Listen to the people that he produced, and their careers were over in the 90s. They were not around when me, Royal Shadow, Little One, were on the streets fucking hustling, keeping hey, we'll Chicano rap Mr. alive. D, we'll, we'll give every, all, of, all, all of them. All of them. But what I'm saying is, you know, ask him to show you proof for the documentary that he's filmed me. You know, Tony A's great. You know, Tony A ain't shit. What does he do? He does all that to get more viewers. Now, I'm not against fags. I don't dislike them. It's just I don't want them in my genre of music like this is what we do.
or or like they're a part of us because they're not. That's gay rap. Now he's gonna put gay rap in Chicano documentary and Norteños in it. What the fuck is wrong with that idiot? Hey, hey, I no, refuse. Let me, let me tell you a couple, of, couple. We got a couple of idiots in here, and I'm gonna read them. They're they're like, oh, go fuck them up. And who in the hell are you gonna fucking uh, put in the documentary? <laughs> uh, okay, black and white speaks. I understand that. Okay, that's very true. But okay, I'm gonna say a few things. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm going to say these things is because he tried to throw me under the bus. Now, when, me, I, when I'm going to... Let me, let me say it real quick. And I, you come in. Now, when I was about to tell you very clearly, I want to tell you guys. The only reason Sandy had any connection with us, which we have no connection with her. We've never met her. She used to work for Tony A. Okay. The only reason was because Tony, besides Tony, Night Owl said, hey, this girl wants to interview me. And he said, oh, watch out. She accused you of rape, too. And Night Owl never met her. Go ahead, Night Owl. Okay. The, the, way, the way it went down was, obviously, Tony did something to this girl. Okay? Allegedly. Uh, no, no. Well, in, in, my, in, in my mind, he did. Okay. Now, do I have the Tell proof? I, I didn't see him. Okay? But... In my mind, he obviously did something to her. That's my thought. And I'm going to give you some... Um, Don't go into detail. That, 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 no, uh, but that's uh, what I'm telling you, dog. I'm, I'm, so these motherfuckers understand these dumbass son of a bitch and fans. Dumbass son of a bitch and fans. Dumbass son of a bitch and fans. That get me pissed off, homie. No, 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 no. No, snitching is that I fucking run to the fucking cops, you bunch of ignorant cocksuckers. Yeah. I'm... Just give my people back my money. Just give my people back my money. Back my money. Someone keeps saying, Night Owl just royal and said he raped the girl. Look at Night Owl was jo not joking, but dissing me. We were kids. There's no facts to what he was saying on that. He was talking shit this month. We were young, stupid motherfuckers. We were beefing. We were beefing. beefing. Me, me and Royal were beefing at the time. And we fucking, you know, I, I let him have it. So, so anybody that tries to bring up old shit or whatever, hey, look at the facts. We're here, and there's a reason why we're here. And it's boring. You know, I can. I well, can if he, if, if crazy, you're bored, just hey, look, trip out on this, homie. Get off, get hey, whoever the bored. dude is there, if he's bored, why don't you go tickle your mom's ass? Uh, what do you know that I don't know? What do you know that I don't know? Because the game is full of tricks. Not trick meaning whores, meaning there's tricks that make things happen. So, you know, a channel order is like, this guy can't be up here and this guy be right here. There's a trick this guy got here if, if everyone else is right here and you're right there. So we all got to figure to get in the middle where we're all winning so we can help move and make a new young generation. Me and I don't know... We're the classic generation. We're willing to help the young generation, but they haven't helped themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Our culture, not that you have to dress like a cholo or anything, but think about what you're doing when you start sagging and you start trying to wear skinny jeans and you start trying to dress all different to fit in like the way the brothers dress, okay? That's not going to get you sales, bro, because they're not going to buy your music because you want to look like them. Or you want to do something funny, you know, please represent your own people. And one more thing that I've Before seen people, kind of rappers, not yeah, look, oh. one thing that I'm going to say, and I'm not going to throw names out there. And you guys, I'm sure you guys have seen one thing I, I ask my Chicano rappers, stop fucking wearing purses. That is not manly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, honestly, bro. It's not well, manly. Naya, you know I always walk around with my fifty G's, and I need a purse across my chest to run between my chichis to put the fifty G's in. <laughs> <laughs> There's, hey, that that shit is I'm fucking. Just fucking with you, homie. It, yeah, that shit is not cool, bro. It makes us look like a bunch of fucking clowns. Do not no. do that, man. Do not do that. What the hell are you doing wearing a purse? That's not manly. And stop you know, being ashamed 
Hey, stop being ashamed to say, I left, I left Chicago Rams. What's wrong with that? Look, at, if you listen to corridos, you don't listen to corridos to hear Tupac. I don't bump black rap to bump Chicano rap. So, I, meaning that I don't need Mexican rappers to say the N-word. If, if you, when I want to hear Chicano rap, I put on Chicano rap. When I want to hear black rap, I put on black rap. I'm proud of both. When I want to hear old school, I listen to old school. Oh, night out. Off the subject. You know what I saw yesterday? What's up, bro? What's the singer of the Gap Band? What's his name? The most incredible dude? Wilson. Wilson just did Charlie? a new song with Smokey Robinson. They did a video. Oh, shit. The two of them? Hard, homie. I, I Hard. bet it is. Hey. Yeah. It sounded pretty good. You know, you know, we love Smokey. And yeah, love Smokey, Wilson. Charlie Wilson, man. They're bad, homie. Yeah. You know? And, and you know, people have been saying, thinking that I'm racist because I always go, I just, I actually stick up for black people because I don't want Mexicans to say the N-word. I'm like, green light them, black homies. Like, I just don't want my Mexicans, like, don't disrespect black people by saying the N-word. You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't yeah, don't, they, they, they take it that as uh, we're being racist. No, but see, that's been my thing. And sometimes it's, oh, you're fucking racist. I'm not racist, man. If you look, If you look at the people that I've worked with in the past, if you look at my album, okay, I was... One of the first ones, if not the first one, to start working. Well, I'm not, not going to say the first one, but probably the first one to do stuff with a lot of the Back brothers. The you know what I mean? Out, Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've done I've done stuff with a lot of brothers. Why? Because I loved their music. You know, cool. it doesn't mean that I want to be one of them. I'm who I am. But I've worked with them. I've worked with them, and I've uh, respected their music. You know, I didn't try to be one of them. I, I'm me, you know, and that's what these motherfuckers don't understand. I, I wasn't going around saying, you know, what's up, you know, and the N-word and this and that. And when I say we shouldn't say that, because how do you think they feel in reality if you walk up to them and you say, hey, what's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? They don't like that shit. They want. They probably want to take flight on your ass. You know, I, I, I was in a group, you know, when I started, because we were both in two parts of town, right? I was right. in a group of, I was the only Mexican. There was no Mexican rappers. And 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 believe me, we were on Bait Street in East Dago. That's gangster. That's, that's one of the most gangster uh, streets you could ever be in. We were the last one. And these Jamaicans from New York were paying for our studio. And it was all my black homies from high school, because no Mexicans were rapping. You had to get down five to the street and a DKM. But um, we would, they would be like, what's up, man? What's up, man? And I'd be like, what's up, homie? What's up, homie? You, and they respected me. I loved them and they loved me because we were who we, we weren't wannabes. You don't have to right. be wannabe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's like, look, bottom line, you said something earlier that makes a lot of sense that I've said all along, too. If you want to listen to a brother rap, you're going to buy a brother's music. Why are you going to buy a Mexican trying to act like one? Then you're getting a carbon copy. You're not getting original. You're when getting hear someone black, trying to be like, like they're rap, black. Homie, I want to listen to Easy e Dre. No problem. I'm a bum. Exactly. Man, but I don't buy a Mexican to say the N-word. I buy a Chicano rapper because I want to hear Chicano rap. You know what I mean? Yep, that's, that's right. Well, look, homie, I think we got our point across, bro. Uh, you know, hopefully the fans understand things a little bit better now. Now, if the fans want to be a bunch of stupid motherfuckers like a lot of them are. Just because we, Tony don't want to deal with us, we just ask you, Tony, hey, bro, well, give the money back if you're not doing Chicano rap documentary because you're not, you're not qualified for the job and we have no problem with you. Your other issue is your problem. That's our only issue. And we, me and Nido, are taking the keys. We talked to Shadow Little when I talked to Mr. D. Capone. I talked to Kid Frost today. Talked to Tony G almost every day. He sent me funny jokes. And pray for Tony G, legendary. Him and his wife just got COVID. Rich G. I talked to Evelyn. I Miss Sancha. I mean... We are going to be doing a real Chicano rap documentary. And it's not about the money. It's about our culture, 
the legendary music. We've lived and almost died for the shit. We've almost killed each other for the shit. No stranger is going to disrespect our music. Hey, Nido, did, did Tony ever ask me anything about your music? How it was recording the Wicked West from the first album? Never. He never he asked didn't me about ask, none of my 150 albums. He didn't ask no musical questions, bro. It was more like, how you doing, this and that, and a... Hey, uh, remember when you got slapped. Now, you know, that's that's an old issue, homie, that the crowd now knows exactly what happened. I was set up. There was a bunch of guns involved. Hey, it is what it is, but I'm not here to fucking explain myself a thousand times, man. You, you know what I mean? You're a legend, homie. You, that's one blemish in a 30-year yeah. fucking career. Fuck that shit. 30 fucking years of putting it down for our people. For annoying. Now this is common if it's a battery power smoke detector or a wired unit like this one, which is also a smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector in one. Same thing, one chirp every about one minute usually means that your battery is low or dead. Let me know if you guys have any comments. I will be happy to jump in there and help any way I can. And then also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to do that as we have multiple videos coming out per week to help you around the house with your repairs and improvements. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. We have no personal beef with this man. We are personal with our Chicano rap. We built this game, and a lot of other people have built this game. Tony was a part of it. If you're going to kick us off, a thing you collected money from us co-signing you, and then how can you release something? How can you rob our people? You know, I'm just saying, give the money back, Tony, to the people. You can keep the money I gave you, Tony. I got no problem with that. Keep it. I don't give a fuck. But you cannot do a documentary when none of the main players are in the documentary. That's robbery. Hey, you fucking figure it out yourself. You dug your own hole. Now it's for you to get out of it. Hey, it is what it is. I don't go out there and say all kinds of crazy shit. But just look at his actions and look at what he does. And then you figure it out for yourselves. That's all I got to say. I'm not down with him. And I'm not going to say I hate the man. It's just I'm not down with what the, the way he does business and and that's it no yeah. i've actually even called him today i and he won't pick up i talked to his son his son knows that we did not diss him until he refused you know what i'm saying like we tried to to talk this out so we have no we're not shutting out chicago rap chicago rap is more united than ever